Now, one thing that's important is that when creating these objects, you want to follow a naming convention. So, say we wanted to create a sprite of the player. Well, we right click, create sprite, and here we have the information regarding the sprite. And as you can see, there's all these different things to vary its origin, you can center it, you can load a sprite, edit the sprite, and you've got these precise collision checking, modifier mask sub images i'm not going to go into all that right now but you've got the name here now you want to follow a strict naming convention now say if we want to make a sprite of the player so you know where you are in the game now we can call that player right but that's just the sprite now if we have an object now objects are different to to sprites because these actually have the programming within them to how to actually work in the game not just how it appears in, on the screen we could call that player as well yes see a resource with this name already exists so you can't actually just call them by the same name I can't call a sprite player and I can't call an object player as well so what you do is you have to follow a strict naming convention you can call the object object underscore player and you can call the sprite sprite underscore player if you really wanted to but typing up sprite underscore and object underscore uh, yeah object underscore and sprite underscore and such it can be a bit tiresome and the thing is is the also we have to remember is what I've been failing to do just now is it when you've written something so say here we type sprite underscore player you have to press OK to confirm it so you've got the object underscore player and sprite underscore player uh, but it might be easier for example to just call it S player and you may want to call this O player. So you've definitely got a a different name of convention there. But then what about sounds? What are you going to call them? So it's best to it's best to find some sort of like identifier that you can use. So SPR player for the for the sprite of the player and OBJ player for the object of the player and so on and so forth I mean the the actual names of the sprites and of the resources as a whole themselves don't actually make any difference but in order for ease of use if you've got a sprite that is of the player you don't want to you don't want to call them for example clown time yacht apple for example because when you come to coding and you want to refer to that you won't know what it is you'll get mixed up if I write something down as say ammunition or something like that it's not something that's directly hard coded into the game you have to, to code exactly what that thing is but that's just a few notes on naming conventions